the riders here we experienced back east on a on a, 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 a sort of uncommon basis, but uh, you've seen them a lot more than I have. We've got Mariano Maggi with us now, representing Sweden aboard the Uma O'Neill entry, Kintago VA. And this one's an 11-year-old Holsteiner gelding. If you, if you wanted to give me a basic uh, general idea of the number of horses that you've seen here or the riders that you've seen out of this group compete before, have you seen most of them show? I have seen most of them show, although I'm not really that familiar with this rider. He's, um, he's you know, from Sweden and, and kind of new to the West Coast, and he has been helping Uma O'Neill, uh, riding her horses and training her as a coach. Okay. Um, you know, and Uma's done very well lately. Uh, representing Sweden, but he's been winning in a couple of Mexican events uh, earlier this year, one in Guadalajara, uh, earned a second in Copexpan uh, this spring down in Mexico. This horse really is, is looking very careful today and jumping really well behind. Yeah, the time lot's definitely tight because I didn't think Carrie was slow and she still had a couple of time faults. So everyone's going to have to really make an effort here. We'll see whether the course designer, Olaf Peterson Jr., thinks about changing the, the time. You know, there's so many aspects to this. It's not just the athletic ability that makes the difference. Remembering the course to begin with when it gets big and complicated, but also uh, having that little mental game of keeping the time allowed in mind and sometimes feeling a little bit more rushed than you want to if you want to approach some of these jumps carefully, but you just don't have the time to do it. Yeah, especially.